Through the Time's Up and Me Too movements, America is calling for an end to sexual abuse in every institution. Whether it's Hollywood, sports, politics, or big media, we've heard the names of perpetrators and their enablers, people who knew about the abuse but did nothing to stop it. And every story seems to have the same theme, the enablers. Harvey Weinstein, everyone talks about the Harvey, but it's like, yeah, but who are the enablers? It's not the people who don't know that worry me, it's the people who do know and do nothing. But few are calling out one of America's biggest accomplices to sexual abuse, even though there is widespread documentation of systemic sexual abuse cover-up behind its doors. The group is called Planned Parenthood and they are tax-funded. Planned Parenthood CEO has claimed on television that sexual assault victims come to their facilities on a daily basis. You see, there's a Planned Parenthood every day. You know, we treat women who are survivors of sexual assault, of domestic violence. This is not a new issue. I think what's new is finally people are talking about it out in the open. But what their CEO doesn't tell you is what happens to these assault victims, the widespread cover-up of abuse of young girls at Planned Parenthood. We are here to tell these stories. Through live action seven part video series, we will show you how Planned Parenthood consistently and deliberately fails to report instances of child sexual abuse to law enforcement. Our series includes many cases documented in the public record, including lawsuits and news reports of Planned Parenthood sexual abuse cover-up, such as this. Arizona, 2002, the court found Planned Parenthood negligent for failing to report an abortion performed on a 12-year-old child in foster care who had been sexually abused by her 23-year-old foster brother. Planned Parenthood did not notify Child Protective Services nor the girl's foster parents. The failure to report led to six more months of sexual abuse, resulting in a second abortion at Planned Parenthood. We then hear the testimony of former employees and managers that witnessed Planned Parenthood's enabling of abuse firsthand. There'd be girls coming in with their abusers, and even if they knew, even if I went to the manager and I said, look, there's something going on here, she would say, She's better off with the abortion. We can't do anything about what's going on at home, but at least we can give her the abortion. You will also see two of Live Action's national undercover investigations into Planned Parenthood. The first investigation shows employees at eight Planned Parenthood facilities caught on camera saying they are willing to cover up the sexual abuse of children. Okay, I didn't hear the age. I don't want to know the age. It could be reported as rape. Oh, okay and that's child abuse. In the next investigation, eight staffers at seven Planned Parenthoods express a willingness to aid and abet child sex traffickers who are selling girls as young as 14 years old for sex. You never got this from me, just to make all of our lives easier. Okay. If they're 14 yeah. and under, yeah. Just send them right there if they need an abortion, <laughs> okay? Our interview with former Planned Parenthood manager, Ramona Trevino, reveals that in the wake of live action sex trafficking investigation, Planned Parenthood lied to the American people about retraining thousands of staff members to report suspected sexual abuse and human trafficking. I raised my hand and I said, I'm, I'm confused. Like, when are we going to um, actually begin the retraining? What can I do as a manager to take this information back to my staff and put, uh, in, you know, enforce policies and procedures that would help protect uh, women who are experiencing um, either sex trafficking or abuse, sexual abuse of, in, in, any, in any way. And she immediately, you know, shot me down and she said, we're not here to talk about that, Ramona. We are here to teach you how to identify if you're being videotaped or recorded or entrapped in any way. Lastly, we interview attorney Brian Hurley, who in addition to bringing lawsuits against Catholic Church leaders for their cover-up of the sexual abuse of children, also brought two cases against Planned Parenthood for failing to report the rapes of teenage girls. It was clear to me that they had a duty to report um, suspected abuse. I, I think known abuse, but at least suspected abuse. They didn't. Um, and her father continued to rape her for another year. The evidence against Planned Parenthood is widespread and overwhelming. It's time to demand justice for the girls harmed by Planned Parenthood's willingness to look the other way. It's also time to end the taxpayer funding of this corporation and to open state and federal investigations into its practices. To do anything less is to condone the abuse and turn the other way ourselves.